Okay, I can't really get a good shot of the house next door, but this is recording this on Saturday. They started on this Wednesday. Four days, and they're still, they just put tar paper down yesterday. Had a uh, brief rain shower that night before, so sure water got into the attic there. But yeah, these guys are, you know, four, four shady characters, at least from what I've seen. And they have dicked around on this house for, yeah, I mean for four days and it's still not done. They've got stacks of shingles. I can zoom in. The glare on the window is, yeah, there's stacks of shingles up there. White plastic that they finally drug up there yesterday. But yeah, like right there, that's still tar paper. They have not even, uh, yeah, they just put that down yesterday on day three. Now, for me, you know, I would be rather pissed off if it takes them that long, you know, four days to do a roof. Now, I don't know what they charge, but, uh, you know, my guess is they probably got a real cheap price. And again, you get what you pay for. Hopefully they know what they're doing and uh, it doesn't cause any leaks. But uh, yeah, I tell you what, started Wednesday, today is Saturday, and looks like they're in no hurry to uh, get the shingles down until probably next week. My guess is they're not going to work on Sunday. But yeah, this is, this is pretty bizarre. But we go across the street. These guys were amazing. I watched them. Wish I could have gotten them on video, but um, that house there, they started yesterday at 9 o'clock. By sunset, the roof was pretty much complete. I mean, de-shingled, rolled tar paper down, new shingles on, and hauled the trash off. There's one guy up on the roof at least there was, who was uh, doing some final touches. But, uh, yeah, I mean, world of difference. It was a crew of five working on this roof, and all of them had their specific duties. It was amazing how, you know, how they worked. Yeah, there's one guy up there. He's still, yeah, it looks like he's doing the ridge vent. Yeah, that's what he's doing. So, I mean, really, they had everything, you know, read, you know, that house was pretty much done in one day. And it was amazing. Yeah. I've already got the number in case I need to get a roof on my house, which luckily I don't. But let me zoom back out here. Okay. Yeah, and there's my roof. Now, it's 20 years old. 21 years old actually so I'm gonna need one here pretty soon so yeah I'm just taking some notes of who to use quite possibly versus who not to use so yeah I mean that's it is a world of, world of difference there so but uh, yeah just an FYI, like I said, I've been observing, you know, it's rare that you get two roofing jobs, like, right next to each other and two different companies, so I got to see a good comparison of a good quality roofing company versus pretty shady characters who are just taking their sweet time finishing the job and you know I'm kind of curious to know how much longer they're gonna be working on this one because uh, yeah there's one guy up there now I mean just yeah this could easily yeah, it looks like it's gonna run into next week for sure so I don't know but uh, yeah do some uh, reviews or uh, inquiries in, into a roofing company if you're looking to get a new roof done to see what kind of a job uh, co different companies do. And uh, yeah, this is 
I've never seen a job take, you know, roofing job like this takes long. And it's not even a thousand square foot house. This should have easily be done, been done in one day. Easily. Maybe, maybe two. You know, give them the benefit of the doubt. But four? Four days? <clears throat> yeah. No, forget that. So, anyway, that's my, that's my take. They did a good job on that one. Yeah, so, they're just doing the finishing touches today. And they'll be done. So, anyway, just an FYI and observing. Would have liked to have gotten some video of their, of their work across the street. But, yeah, I just didn't, didn't get the opportunity. And, uh, but these guys, yeah, I mean, <laughs> watching them for four days and taking their slack time, I tell you, pretty amazing. So, alrighty then, well, there you go. Just a couple roof jobs in my neighborhood, one across the street and one next door. And, uh, what a world of difference between the two companies, so... Yeah, don't uh, <laughs> don't go with the uh, shady group like this that will take forever to roof a, a thousand square foot house. Jeez. Well, dude's still working on the track vent, and I guess the goof that was working on that house is gone. There's no action. Still, tar paper. That's it. Shingles are just stacked up on the top there. <laughs> wow. And there's storms coming in this afternoon and Sunday as well, so. What idiots. <sighs> I hope that guy that owns that house has good homeowner's insurance because if it does get stormy and the rain gets through that tar paper, it's definitely going to do some damage to the inside. <sighs> Freaking maroons, I swear. Yeah, it's a good job on that roof. I finished up the ridge vent. That job is complete. And for a future reference, they're called Roof Roof out of North Carolina. I'll keep them in mind for the future. But, yeah, clouds are getting dark now. Storms are moving in. <laughs> and, yeah, this house still has tar paper on it. Look, you can tell. Jeez. Wow. Nothing but tar paper. Shingles draped over the top of the house. Fine job, guys. Fine job. Jeez. Yeah. And the storm moving in. Jeez. Yeah. Like I said, hope that guy has good homeowner's insurance because. There's a good chance he's going to have some water damage getting inside that house now. Jeez. Unreal. Storm's about to start and now dude's up there on the roof. <laughs> Better late than never, huh dude? Wow, really? I have no idea what company this guy works for either, but I'll tell you right now, I would not recommend them at all. And the storms that are getting ready to roll in... They are going to be, they are going to be impressive, it looks like, at least what they look like on the radar. So that tar paper, yeah, he's, they're going to have some leaks and it wouldn't surprise me if it gets ripped up either, but who knows. I guess we'll see. Wow. Fine job, dude, fine job.
Yeah, look at that. Yellows and reds moving into town. Ah, amazing. Well, still popping shingles. Rainstorm has actually weakened a bit, but still be enough to slicken up the tar paper, that's for sure. Huh. Yep, compressor's going, and there's some thunder. Unreal. That dude might get a little lucky. The rain is, rainstorm's falling apart. Still, I wouldn't even risk hiring some. Somebody like this that takes four days to roof a thousand square foot house. No way. Well, it's a steady light rain. Dude's still up on the roof. Tacking shingles. Yeah, just a final note on this video. Yeah, definitely do some research on uh, who a reputable roofer is. These guys I would never hire at all. So, <laughs> note for future reference.